Hello. What is church? My thoughts today revolve around that very question. What is church and how do we do church, both now in the year 2020, in the 21st century, and of course post lockdown? Well, that's a question on many people's lips in the various faith communities at the moment. How should we be? What should we do? Particularly post lockdown and the closure of our church buildings. And of course, we're not back to normal yet. And do we want to be? Should we be? Does God want us to be? Tim talked in his sermon a couple of weeks ago about the purpose of disorientation, about the biblical pattern of things being settled, then God throwing them asunder into disarray and confusion, and then resettling in a new way, perhaps a challenging and probably an unexpected way. And I think it's really important for us to actively think and pray about how we should be going forward and not drift unthinkingly back to the old, old normal, or even steer a decided path back to the old normal. Mandy Carr, the vicar at Weald, wrote about this recently in an article and how important she thought it was for the church not to lose this opportunity to develop and pursue the many creative avenues and gifts that have emerged over recent months. I don't have the answers. But I'm just going to throw out some thoughts, some of which may appall some of you, but they are just my thoughts to be added to the mix of the discussion. The key thing is to have the discussion. We are a diverse people, all wonderfully and fearfully made in God's image, so very intentionally made by him to be diverse. And so we will all have different ideas. And this must be celebrated, exploited and accommodated in the way we do church. So what is church? Well, you don't have to be in a church community for very long before someone points out to you that the church is decidedly not the building. The church is the people in all their lovely mix of gifts and talents, talents weaknesses, foibles, loves, hates, aspirations, etc. Many of you might remember that childhood action rhyme that I can't do very well. Here's the church and here's the steeple. Open the doors and here's the people. So yes, the people are key and I don't think many of you would argue with that. And as I go about my life, I often think of myself as a little chip off the block of the church, a little chip off the block of St John's, taking a little bit of St John's with me wherever I go. And I hope that this will encourage me to behave in a way that provides good witness. Doesn't always come off, of course, but it's a good aim, I think. How we are and what we do out in the community is important, both as individuals, but also as a collective. The church is intended as a collective. We are all parts of one body and we are clearly so much more powerful operating together. But being out there in the community, I think, is vital. So we probably agree that church is not the building, it's the people. But do we fully reflect this in the way we behave? Are we still perhaps too attached to the building as being central in some way to our faith? And, and now I'm getting into more controversial territory, are we too attached to the church service as the pivotal point of our faith? I tend to find, for example, that whenever I have a discussion with someone or a group of people about church, it invariably ends up being a discussion about the church services. Is this as it should be? So I'm not saying that the building isn't important or more significantly that the church service as we know it in accordance with canon law isn't important either. They both are coming together in a sacred place to worship before God, to confess and receive forgiveness, to praise our Lord together, to take communion is important and should absolutely be part of our faith but maybe just a bit less of the central part. I love a church building. 
Before I was a Christian in my 20s, I spent some time working in the south of France and at weekends I used to go exploring the churches in the villages along the coast. I think I was probably a bit odd. Um, and I have really missed worshipping in church. And personally, I actually like a fairly traditional church service and feel it's a good way for me to connect with and have a relationship with my God. So this isn't a personal gripe of mine at all. But I do think it might not be the best way for all people of all ages in 2020 to discover and develop a relationship with the Lord. We might wish it were, but I don't think it is. And I feel that we need to allow and embrace and accommodate the diversity of people in the way we do church. It would be wonderful to have our church and centre full of people worshipping on a Sunday or any other day. But we have work to do first. Our job, above and before all else, is to go and make disciples of others. So we need to explore the best ways to do this. Matthew 28, 18 says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptising them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold,